Hi guys, how is everybody? So it's Christmas Day 11 and I have decided that I'm going to give you guys a little story as I do my makeup. I'm going to be oversharing with you guys, okay? I haven't done this in a long time, so let's do it. I'm going to give you guys a warning. I have really bad ADHD, like attention deficit. I, I have really bad attention and I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. And every time I try to do my makeup on camera, I'm easily distracted. So those are two problems. But we are not our problems and we are not going to claim our problem. So we're just going to dive right into it. This is me trying to figure out where everything is. And I'm also going to be eating my Indomie as I give you guys the story. I'm going to be oversharing a little bit. Like not a little bit, a lot. I'm going to be oversharing. I'm going to tell you guys what happened. Let's go. I know that my cousin probably watches my YouTube channel because, you know, I'm that one rich, successful cousin. So who wouldn't want to keep up with a cousin like that? Even I would. So I know my cousin and the mom and the dad probably watch my videos. And when they come across this, my aunt is known for always trying to blow everything out of proportion literally every single thing oh my god guys i forgot to moisturize because i always i always start with this i always moisturize i always moisturize but i oh anyway let's just go i'm gonna try and be keen and not miss any step because you have to moisturize anyway my aunt is a notorious one when it comes to blowing everything out of proportion and I'm, if I say notorious guys I mean notorious when I say notorious I mean really really notorious so and this story is about her and her daughter so we are going to call her daughter let's call her Jane for the sake of this video I'm done with my brows and I'm back so for my foundation I'm using this Dior foundation F9 Okay, so in case you want to use it, it's not an ad in case you want to use it. So now, story, story, story time. Back then, me and my family weren't that better off. You get it? We were just, we were just depending on the Lord. So I'm also using this Dior as a color corrector lipstick, as a color corrector, because my color corrector is over. I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. Oh, that's just me showing off. Anyway. So back then, we were just depending on the Lord. We were not a, like, like, you know, better off and all that. We were just depending on the Lord. And I had a cousin who were so rich. At least I thought, hey, God, at least I thought they were rich. So one time during one of these holidays, we go to visit them. As, as usual, you know, back then, during holidays, you go and visit your aunties. And if you're not, like, from a well-off family, you know, you had to go visit your your family members who were well off so i had this cousin what did we call her did you say jennifer or Je okay let's just say a cousin because i can't remember what name i gave her so we had this cousin of mine who was so cool like at least i thought who was so cool she was so cool guys and i still find her cool up to date this cousin of mine would always tell me she's a magician so we'll go out and there was this spot, I'm using this Maybelline, it's a little dark, a, a, a shade darker than me, so I mix it together with the Dior one and I get an amazing, amazing result. So this cousin of mine was so cool, she would uh, tell me, let's go this way, and then she would say, close your eyes, and then I would close my eyes and she would put her fingers, her hands somewhere and then, bah, then she would come out with money. So I used to think she's like a magician or something. I loved, loved her. Because she'll just do these cool tricks and she'll come out with money. And why am I saying this? You guys just wait. It's going to build up to this story where this story is going. So every time I was alone, I would try to go and also do that trick and get some money. But I never, ever got the trick. I would never, I mean, I, I never, ever got the money. I would never get the money. But when we are with her, I'm telling you guys, all she had to do is to just stick her finger up a certain um, shimo and then she would come out with the money. But I loved 
that. I remember even praying to God in the night. God, please, please, can I also learn how to do this magic? So after trying it severely and failing, I made peace with the fact that maybe that's a rich people thing. Maybe I can't do it because, you know, I'm not from that neighborhood and I don't know how they do their things. So one time, again, during the holiday season, my cousin and I um, went to buy some stuff. We went to the store to buy a couple of things, you know. They were they were drinking tea in the morning, guys. Can you imagine? Like, they would wake up in the morning and then drink tea. And then, you know those cousins who would not eat the hard part of the bread? <laughs> like, so now the hard part of the bread belonged to my sister and I or any other person. But then the bread was too hard. They couldn't eat that. And like, I'm telling you, I couldn't believe it. I would just sit next to her or her sister, hoping that they will pick me to take the bread that this lady wasn't able to eat. Cause, cause what do you mean? I barely see this bread at home. So you guys not being able to eat this bread is like, I can't get it, I don't understand it. I just realized I'm doing makeup with a white shirt on, but anyway, ADHD, you have nothing on me and I'm not gonna be distracted, let's go. So now, one time, this cousin of mine and I went to buy something all uh, at the shop so as we were buying stuff, I decided to like excuse myself. I don't know what I was looking for. And then I just uh I just saw my aunt coming. So my aunt comes and we have been apprehended. Like when we want to leave the store, I don't know, I want to leave this place, and then my aunt has been called and my aunt is coming. I can see my aunt like now, my cousin's mom. My aunt, the one I told you that knows how to blow everything out of proportion. She's the one who's coming to showcase her talent right here. So my aunt is coming and I'm like What's happening? In fact, to be fair, I wasn't even scared because I knew. I was like, maybe they haven't paid for something. No, I don't think I thought they haven't paid for something because these people were rich. You remember, they were, they were rich according to me. So I'm like, why is my aunt here? But it really didn't matter to me because really, these people, who knows, maybe they even secretly owned this. So, so my aunt comes and then she starts to speak to this lady who was, who was like the owner of the shop. Tell me why my aunt just came and the next thing I realized was a slap bah! on my face. Eesh, that, like, like how, is, how is that even possible? Hmm? How do we move from somebody just chilling and cheering her aunt to, to someone collecting slap? Collect this slap and I'm so shook. I'm literally in shock. I can't figure out What's happening? Why are they giving me slap? Like, what did I do? Did I speak ill about the rich? I, I can't figure out why I'm chopping slap left, right, and center. And then my aunt just said, hey, that's why I don't like when you people come to visit me. Hey, you people, why are you behaving like this? See the way you're embarrassing me. So I'm going to tell you guys, at this point, I'm so, I'm literally not understanding. So in my mind, I'm like, maybe I wasn't walking like the rich. Maybe I embarrassed her because... A little backstory, my aunt hated when we would speak Luo to her kids, Luo and Swahili to her kids. So her kids were the cool kids. I don't know if you guys also had such problems. Her kids were the cool kids and we were not the cool kids. So we, we couldn't speak English to them because we were, we were literally not like that fluent in English back then. You know, we were the type of people who had to learn English in school. But then they were kind of speaking English in their house. So my aunt always wanted us to speak English with her to her kids. So I thought in my mind, I said, damn it, I knew it. I knew this Swahili bullshit. Okay, I'm still the the type of girl who likes the LA concealer. Don't even come for me because it does, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. Thank you. So now I told myself, I knew it. Damn, I knew that this Swahili will put me in trouble. I should have been more keen. In class, when the teacher was teaching us English, I now look at me chopping slap left, right, and center and being embarrassed in front of everybody. Damn it, man. Then she just kept going and going and cussing me out and just making, like, creating a scene and all that until this owner of the lady, this lady, the owner of the shop comes and says, no, 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 no. It's not her. It's not her. I didn't call it because of her. It's her. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you why my, my aunt was called. Her daughter had been caught shoplifting, okay? Her daughter had been called stealing. So this lady had 
uh, given my aunt a call because she knows my aunt and she was like hello two of your daughters are here and one of them is stealing so my aunt came angrily and with a rage and just thought aha this daughter of Jezebel might be the thief, not might be, has to be the thief. And that's the way she came and gave me that thunderous slap, just leaving me to be confused and to wonder and question my whole existence. So I'm there like, oh, okay, somebody has stolen something. I didn't even see my, my cousin stealing. To be fair, I thought that I had seen my cousin put something in her pocket, but I didn't really think that it was goodies because... Let me tell you guys, I knew that this lady, these people are rich, rich. So to think that she was still in a store, in a small kakibanda, it wasn't making sense to me. You get it? So now my aunt is here and she's shocked. She's like, hey, what did you say? What did you say? And the lady is trying to explain to her and telling her that, no, she's not the one who was stolen. Oh, no, they were, at, yes, they were together, but she's not the one who stole um, the staffs. Tell me why my aunt just look, turns around and looks at me and says, how many times do I have to tell you not to teach my daughter bad manners? Look at what now you've gotten her into. So my aunt is here and she is furious. My aunt is just furious and she's mad at me. And let me tell you guys, we are adults now. I don't have to lie to you guys to like look good. I didn't tell this girl to steal nothing. These ladies were rich in my eyes. These people were, were, were gods. So if anything, I thought this lady would even buy the whole store. So leave alone asking her to steal. And they were like, why did you, why are you teaching my girl bad manners? And my cousin, on the other hand, it's quiet. She's so quiet. She's just there, an enabler. She's just watching me being roasted. This babe is saying nothing. Zero by word, zero by mouth, zero by whatever. This aunt is just there, like she's just there. quiet. She says, "My five days you're there. You're gonna be roasted. You're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna watch my my mom tear you apart. You're gonna learn your lesson, you bloody rat." <laughs> so they ask her. They ask her, so and so, hey, who taught you? Who told you that you need to take people's things? Who told you? Because hey, this is not you. Look, you know they tell men, this, this is not you. This is not you. This is not you. I shut up. I know him. This is not him. Who told you? Oh, by the way, I normally blend fast this small one. So in case those people have always been saying, oh, please trust your routine. This is my routine alongside a story time. So the next time you want to hear it, I mean, you want to learn how to do makeup and you don't want to hear me, you can always mute or like just play it slowly. And who is that who doesn't hear me? And I'm telling you guys, it's look, it's not looking this crazy in real life iPhone just has a way of exaggerating things. Anyway, my cousin is asked, like, who told you? Why, why are you guys doing this? And you know, at no point does my aunt hold this girl accountable. My aunt is just like, I'm the one, like, I'm the one who has done that. So she's like, why are you guys? She's not even saying, why are you? Why are you guys doing this? Who told you? Who, whose idea was this? Eh? Why are you people doing this? Whose idea was this? And my cousin just reluctantly points at me that little demon she just, she just so now i'm making my beauty blender down a little down this is a very crucial step okay so after you have um finished blending this small brush you make your beauty blender down got this from shiglam but you make your beauty blender down and make sure that the water is out and then you blend it you now pretty well and another thing is the foundation that i was using and make sure that it's slightly darker but trust me guys believe me it's not looking as ridiculous as i see it on camera it's actually looking really good on the mirror but maybe it's just me being delusional so this little demon just is here watching these people roast you see how well it blends that's the secret so if you're doing your makeup and you realize this um concealer doesn't go well please first start with this blend 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 and then fin finish up with it
For this little demon is here watching my little ass getting roasted. She's even saying that I'm the one, like I'm the one who did what, my friend? I, am, I, am I the one who told you you, you should be stealing? Huh? So my aunt is here apologizing and she's not saying that it's her daughter who did the, 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 the. She's just saying, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, this girl, she's my sister's daughter, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to work on this. This will never happen again. You know, my daughter, she doesn't do such things, which is a lie. Her daughter was a petty thief. Her daughter, like, just, there used to be, like, the normal stealing where kids would just steal things here and there. But her daughter, eh, gosh, her daughter, guys, used to steal, as in she just liked. And remember I told you that she was a magician. At least I thought she was a magician. Because that's how she used to tell me that she's a magician and all that. Kumbe, this babe, used to every day steal her mom's money and then put them somewhere. Like, she'll steal them and then wake up really early and then go and put them where I told you, in that kashimo. Then strategically, make sure that it's me and her. And when we go out, she would say that she has gotten money. Like, ta-da! I'm a magician. Can you believe, guys, this lady, while her mom now, because I told you I have really bad ADHD, now, the mom is taking us back home so we can go and say why or not did we steal. We have to explain why or not are we stealing. So our aunt, has, my aunt in this case, has taken us back home to their house. And she's so furious. And let me tell you, her dad was working in the military. Hmm. So now, guys, it was one of those days, like on a Sunday, and her dad... Work, was working in the military so you guys know so we, we get in the house and they go like what happened and my aunt tells the husband the military guy that sean they never used to call me sean they used to call me mom or something you know mom mama they used to call me mom eh? mom and then they would say mama yes i was mama mama no, she said, Akina Mama, that's the thing. She didn't say, like, Mama. Like, she just said, Akina Mama has been caught stealing. Now you tell me, guys, think about it. How do you just say Akina Mama? And you know so well that I wasn't stealing nothing. You know so well that the thief is your offspring. And as they say, a tree does not fall far from it. A mango does not fall far or a seed does not fall far, whatever. So the two of you better tell me, where, where did this girl get to summit? One of you is a chronic thief. One of you is literally a thief. But that's a story for another day. So now this lady says, Akina Mama, I've been caught stealing. Hey, shh. Another banger. <laughs> and you know those men who always, you know those weak men who always wanted to like show off to their wives? So that was him. So this guy, Brigitte just had Akina Mama. And he said, I've been waiting for this chance. I'm gonna show you that I'm the man of the house. Hmm? I'm gonna show you that I'm, I'm the man of the house. Fuck everybody who keeps on saying that to me, Kali and all. I'm gonna show you that I'm the man of this house. Before my aunt said anything, my uncle had just removed like one belt. Kai, one really big belt, my friend. Forget about the slap that I was telling you about. Hmm? Forget about that one. That, that, that one was preamble. This particular time, I saw what I have never seen. Guys, I'm telling you, the uncle started to beat us. Us. And I'm saying us because he was actually beating both of us, to be fair. But me? I got the beating of my life. Like a freaking dog. Hmm? Telling you, if they're beating this girl like two, two, two slaps, I would get like 14. As in mine were back to back to back to back to back. And I was like, you know what, this while I'm thinking, what have I done? <laughs> they're beating me for what? Hmm? What exactly have I done? I'm telling you, this man used me to show off. He was showing the whole world that he's um 
that he is a strong man that is capable of taking care of his family. Because I'm trying to figure out what was the reason. I don't want this to stay. I usually let it stay longer, but I don't want it to stay because I'm telling you guys story and I don't want to lose my concentration. So I'm just going to dust it off. This man was beating me as though I was his co-wife. as though, Like as though I was his enemy. Remember I told you that he used to work uh, maybe he still does work in the military. I don't know. I haven't like heard from them in a while. This man literally made me the the nation's number one enemy, most wanted. The way they say, bring him dead or alive. Like that was his mission. Cause I didn't know where this man was getting a child. And let me tell you guys, I was so young. I was about maybe ten years. I was like about ten years or so. This man legit. Was, was using me to show off all his training. I got this from She Glam. It's a caramel sweet. This is so dark. If you want, you know, it's, it's, if you want exclusion, this is it. Like it's inclusive. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so dark. It's so dark. So this is what I use when I want to, what is it called? Is it conceal or what? Then I'm going to go out so you guys can see. <laughs> just kidding. There's a secret. There's how I normally contour my nose. I just put it a little here and then do like this. So go in like this and then draw a line down. Okay. So you can see that you have to start from here. But if I come closer, maybe I can see it. Okay. You have to start from here all the way from the eye eyebrows and then go down like uh, that way so that's like my secret <laughs> that's my favorite hack oh, oh i've messed it up a little what was i telling you guys this man was using me to show off like to show off that he has been trained indeed indeed he's been trained indeed he's a man indeed he can take care of all his family so they beat me like a dog and my cousin never said nothing of course i don't expect her to say anything anyway you if they catch you and they put the blame on somebody else because when when she was doing that i want to assume she was hoping that nobody's gonna catch her and then they catch her how not is she gonna come up like oh listen guys listen 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 it's really me it's not her you see how good it it, it works i hope it kind of looks good it does just that i don't know what's happening today I told you I have a, a weakness. Anytime I'm trying to like do my cam my makeup on camera, it just turns out somehow. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like it's something that I've realized. So most of the time I just shy away from doing my, my makeup on camera. I don't know if I become so nervous at the point where I skip some steps. But if I come a little closer, it's not even getting any better. But it it should. So I think I should do Oh, I thought my baby has fallen down. But anytime you're in doubt, keep what? Keep blending. Keep blending, 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 blend, 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 blend. Okay, it's getting better, guys. Ooh, ooh. I want this one to also get better. I want to go in with this blush. I got it from She Glam as well. It's really pigmented. Pigmented? Pigmented? It has pigmented. It's really nice. However, I don't want to use it today because I've realized I don't know how to use it because every time I use it, it doesn't blend correctly in my skin. However, I don't say it's a bad one because I've seen a lot of positive reviews about it and I've seen people who are using it well. And because I'm not a professional makeup artist, maybe I'm the one who is not using it properly. So I'm just going to go in with this. So this, has, I don't know why today's lighting is so awful. I'm telling you guys, I promise you, in the name of God, I look really nice. I don't know why this lighting is so bad. But anyway, we keep going. Yep. Yep, we do. So I just, I create like a letter C like this. See, I'm going to blend that and come right back. 
so i'm back guys and i finished doing my makeup and whoa, it's looking so so beautiful however i just figured out that my mic was off all this while and so this particular clip had no sound so i'm just gonna do a voiceover and finish up the whole story so guys let me tell you when we got back home after the beating and the beating was not an ordinary beating i received a beating that i can never forget right here i was trying to say that this particular oil is something that i'm so obsessed with and my husband keeps on complaining and saying oh i don't like this and i don't like this i don't know what makes him think i wear it for him but i actually like it that's why i've used it that much and then there's this other one that he really likes and i also like it as well <laughs> anyway guys when we got back home after the beating of course um we were asked uh, to apologize to the dad like for embarrassing him because you know he's a respectable man in the society i told you he was in the m military so you know and then they were like what are you gonna tell daddy and i was like first and foremost why who, who the heck is daddy why are you asking me to call her daddy him sorry daddy because i really dread calling somebody who is not my father daddy like you know but after the beating after the beating i had to swallow my pride and just say oh daddy i'm so sorry for embarrassing you and putting your name in the mud i know you work so hard to maintain your name and all that i'm so sorry daddy please forgive me and i was there begging mommy going like oh mommy mommy please just talk to daddy i will never do this again and yeah so technically that was it and until then i have never gotten an, ap an apology for that nonsense because it was literally nonsense because why would you guys beat somebody <laughs> for something she has not done <laughs> why would you guys like ever just at and by the way why were they beating me like <laughs> it's not like i'm their child like i was okay well what can to figure why if we are being we are being honest huh but anyway guys that was how the makeup turned out if you like this look make sure to follow the steps and you are gonna end up getting an amazing result like this i love you guys and let me know if you guys want to hear more of my stories down below in the comment section bye bye